Welcome to this video. In this video, I will introduce how to use MATLAB to change the experiment data in the time domain to frequency domain. I collected the experiment data by oscilloscope from the ultrasound transducer in the lab. And the first column is the time, and the second column is the voltage value. I saved the CSV file and import the CSV file into the MATLAB. There are 2,500 points in total. First of all, I need to use the CSV read function to read the CSV file. I give it a variable name t equals csv read and the name is graphene bottom line a 13 millimeter dot csv during the experiment my sample rate dt is equal to explosional negative 0 0.07 which means 0 0.2 microseconds so the sample frequency fs will be 1 divided by dt. Let's take a look about the time domain signal first. I could plot the time domain signal. Plot the t and the the row should be 1 to 2,500 and the column is the second one, 2. This one is for time domain signal. For the frequency domain, I could uh, get the time domain signal first, get all the data, and use the FFT to do the fast Fourier transform. So the frequency signal TF equal FFT T. Since I need to plot the frequency domain signal, I need to load the frequency length. I get the M equal length TF And the frequency will be from negative m divided by 2 to positive m divided by 2 minus 1 times fs times the sample rate times the sample frequency and divided by the interval m minus 1. So here is for the frequency domain x-axis frequency and for the y value I just need to calculate the FFT shift I just need to use the FFT shift ABS TF to get the frequency y value Let's run it. There are two figures. The first one is about the time domain signal. This one is from the ultrasound signal. So it looks like this. And uh, the second one will be the FFT of the ultrasound signal. The signal is around 1 megahertz, 1 times 10, 6. So it's around 1 megahertz. If you have any question about this video, leave me a comment. Thanks for your watching.